Hey, we welcome. It's me, Miles44, and welcome to the next episode of Game Chats. Uh, today we will be talking about the game that released with the Wii U, Nintendo Land. Nintendo. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> um, and with me today I have. Hey, what is up, you guys? It is our reversal, and uh, yeah, today here with Miles44. Yep. So, uh, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about this game. Nintendo Land. I'm holding the cartridge. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you get to use your Miis, and they look as, yeah. they look like Mario characters and Zelda characters. I mean, how, how awesome does that look? Like, look at this. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to play with your, with your me characters. Mm. It's, it's actually pretty funny. Um, yeah, let's, like, yeah, um, so there's a bunch of different, if anybody doesn't know what Nintendo Land is, uh, Nintendo Land, there's a bunch of different, like, little... It's like, it's like, it's like a mini Mario Party kind of thing, but the games Basically. are way more extensive than, uh, than the Mario Party are. Mm -hmm. Um, there's, there's a Zelda game, uh, Mario, Metroid, there's, there's a bunch of different ones. There's an Animal Crossing one, which, uh, mm -hmm. is a little bit unfair. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of ones. Um, Donkey Kong. Wait. Like, actually, yeah, it's right in the back Wh of the which box. One, which one is your uh, favorite? Ah, uh, favorite. If you're playing with four people, that is. Four people, okay. Uh, if I'm playing with four people... That makes it different, right? <laughs> yeah, no. I think if I'm playing with four people, I prefer the Mario Chase. Yeah, same here. Good choice. Mario Chase. I also like um, really an fun. Animal Animal Crossing too. That that's one for me on the books. The Animal Crossing one's good. Um, it's a little unfair for the elephant, unfortunately, because it's really easy to get caught and cornered. It depends on who you're playing with. Yeah. Um, but it's it's very, it it's more of a one-sided game, unfortunately. That one. I yeah, that, that is true. That um, is true. I really like the Donkey Kong one. That one's very. Uh, we should probably go more depth for these, so we'll do that. Yeah. So, um, let's start from what we were talking about at first, the four-player one, Mario Chase. So you basically, it's hide-and-seek, and you have to chase them and tackle them. So it's, it, it's basically hide-and-seek tag. Like, you know, when you yeah. combine hide-and-seek tag together when you were kids, it, it's basically that, but with, uh, so one person's Mario, and then the others are Toads, and they have to tag Mario, because maybe Mario touched the princess in naughty ways, and they're like... You don't touch yeah. our princess there. <laughs> and the cool thing about it is like that one player who is uh, supposedly uh, being chased. Uh, that play that player actually gets to hold the the Wii U gamepad, mm -hmm. in which that person can see in which direction the other toads are coming from. Are they toads? I think they are. Yeah. Um, where they're coming from, and you're able to dodge. But the thing is, here's the key: like the other people, if they work together well enough. Uh, they're gonna be able to uh, to find the Mario really quickly. Yeah, um, I don't like one when you do one versus one on the Mario Chase. How there's like the Yoshis oh, no. that find you, and then they start going right here, right here, right here. Like I guess anybody could say that, but I don't like how they like knock you over and stuff. They, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just I've seen it. I've never played it, I, but I, I didn't it with really. More people. Yeah, it's, it's really, really a game that that's worth playing with more people. Hmm. It's like four-person, four-person Mario Chase is awesome. Just like running around, going nuts. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I guess, uh, which one, which one do you do you really, really like? Which one do I really like? Um, like, I'm gonna have uh, to say, well, um, I, I, I had a lot of fun with Takamaru's Ninja Castle, as a matter of fact. Uh, just the fact of Did the you matter say Dr. is... Dr. Mario's Ninja Castle? No, I said Takamaru. Oh, I heard Dr. Mario. I was like, I said, Dr. Mario Takamaru. has a Ninja yeah, Castle? Doc, He's doc, a doctor? Doc, Dr. Mar Dr. Mario Takamaru sounds, kind of sounds the same, yeah. So I was going to say, he's a doctor and a ninja? What? Dr. Mario Ninja, that would be something like, Dr. I would not be, I would not be surprised if Miyamoto would come up with that, with the Ninja Mario, uh, Ninja Mario. You got bees, you oh, got that'd bull, be a, you got that'd spring, be, that'd, you got cats. That'd be a cool power-up for the next one. Just, just yeah. gonna put it out there, Nintendo. Ninja power-up, do it. Stealth, <laughs> stealth. Yeah. yeah. Um, make it work. But I really like that game. I but really, I really do like Takamaru's. Uh, uh, let's just refer it as to um, the Ninja Castle's throwing star showdown. Mm -hmm. You just throw stars at the enemies and make your way through, right? 
exactly. That's yeah, but that's not the thing. The thing is the the way you hold the gamepad is actually as like if you're ninja throwing the yeah. shurikens away, and that yeah. is the thing that caught me. I was like, that is so awesome that you're and and the thing is like if you're throwing them as in sliding them when you're sliding like you're sliding from away as if you're like striking a match, uh, but you're you're throwing the stars away from you. But depending on how fast you're doing it, the the star will also go fast or slow. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I tried to play the game. I did. I wasn't. I'm normally very good at aiming, but uh, I don't know. It gave me a little bit of trouble, and I'm not sure why. I feel maybe it was just. Yeah. The way it was made or something. I, I, I don't know. I'm normally yeah, very, very good with aim. Like, very good. Yeah. But, um, it was still a lot of fun. Like, you just try to throw them at them. Um, try to how, make your way you, through. How you, so, like, if, if that's, like, an issue then, how, how are you doing on Captain's Falcon's Race? Because that was the same mechanic, like, the way you're holding it, right? Oh, that one? I was like, yeah. what is this? What is this? What is this? I'm crashing! I'm crashing everywhere! <laughs> I can't play a game like that. Uh, I, I suck. I suck. I, I suck at driving games, except for Mario Kart. It's, it's like the only okay, good driving game I'm good at. I see. I see. So like the Captain Falcon one, I just kept hitting the sides. I was like, I don't, 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 don't. I think like Captain Falcon one was actually pretty hard. Yeah. It was a lot of fun though. Yeah. It, it, that the one was actually a lot of fun. The Once Captain. The wait, 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 wait. The Captain Falcon one was very falcon hard <laughs> that's <was> funny okay <laughs> very funny I uh, um i don't know i guess i guess my favorite one actually i really like the zelda one but unfortunately my favorite was the donkey kong one the uh was crash it course donkey kong is crash course and uh yeah, it, it was just really fun to try to figure out the different ways, or, or you know, try to figure out the ways to go through different obstacles. Um, How far did you make it? What? How far did you make it? I won. You you completed it? Yeah. That's I completed it in the most broken way possible. I was like, I was like, what? What did that just happen? I was on a str I was streaming it, and and I completed it the most ridiculous way possible. I got to the tenth area. And you know the side, right? Oh, I didn't get that far. Okay, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you, but you can see the side, right? How there's like an yeah. open space. Okay, I accidentally fell. But I accidentally turned it so that I didn't pop. And oh, I made okay. it. And I was like, what just happened? Yeah. What I just see. happened? And I just turned myself to the to Peach and I went, I, I moved over to her and I'm like, I did it! I don't know, how, but I did it. <laughs> wow, that is impressive. <laughs> but um, I found I found like most of the course a lot of fun, like trying to just maneuver through it and everything. It was. I think I made it. I don't to, know. Um... I really, really liked it. I got I got all the way to ten and I kept dying, and then eventually that happened, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, I actually made it to uh, three, I think. Like, but I I I don't own a Wii U anymore, so mm. like, I, there was like, it, it was a lot of fun. I did spend like. The, the the moment I had the Wii U, uh, I stayed up all night playing that, and I didn't realize it was already that late. Ooh, Wii U. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, which one didn't you like? Uh, Metroid. Um, really? Yeah, because the the um, I didn't like uh being in that uh spaceship kind of thing. Um, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I liked it's shooting two at the spaceship. Fun. Two player ones fun. I didn't get to play that one. I played it with more players, but I never liked being the uh, being the hunter. Mm, okay. or what's the the two player one. The two player one is just like a, a free, uh, you know, a one v one or free for all or something, and you just you just shoot each other. One one gets the spaceship. Whoever uses the gamepad, everybody else gets you know just normal, normal. Yeah, guns. and I don't like That's using it. this. I don't like ha being the spaceship. Uh, just yeah, it's just not for me. I did find it a little. Mm, yeah, I, I will agree. I did find it kind of mad, like how you were just like shooting these little yeah. little things. Sa was, same thing sick. as I didn't like having the bow in the Zelda game. The bow in the yeah, I didn't. I, I preferred having the sword in the Zelda game. I was like, yeah, oh. I thought I thought the bow was ridiculously hard. Luckily, I did have nice. a friend who was really good with that. 
Uh, and he was also good with being the spaceship in Metroid. I so, think yeah. the bow works better though in the Zelda game if you it have does. if you have teammates. If you don't, don't use the bow. Yep. <laughs> You'll get completely bombarded and die. <laughs> yeah. The sword's much better if you don't have teammates. But uh, yeah. And how far did you make it in the Zelda one? The Zelda one, we completed it on Master Quest. Oh, lucky. But we were with four people, so like I think we we redid we did it a bunch of times. <laughs> like we, oh my gosh, like we we had to restart and, and revisit and uh, yeah, we, we completed it a hundred percent. So that was that was really cool. Um, yeah. Um, uh, the Zelda one. Um, I made it to like, I think I was stuck on eight. Yeah, I think it's eight. I think I'm stuck on eight uh -huh. out of ten. So, the cats just like staring at me in the background, like, "What are you doing over there, you garden?" <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Another thing, I did like how uh, the, your me is always like dressed up as, you know, whatever you were and stuff. Yeah. And it yeah, actually cool. looked. It didn't look like. How do I put it? It didn't um, look bad. Didn't, yeah, it, it just didn't look bad. They actually made it well. They did it properly, so it would look good. And yeah, it, yeah, it looked really nice, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the little prizes you could win around, around the, around your Nintendo Land, make it bigger. The um, different music. Um, the 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 stickers and and so on. Yeah. Or what was it like the little trophies? Yeah, the trophies that would like go around your whole Nintendo Land when 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 you collect them and then like I even yeah. had I even had like a giant tree from the Zelda one. Oh yeah, yeah, I too. I, I thought too. they were all, like I thought those were There awesome. was there was this the thing like I was playing with my friends, right? <laughs> and um after a certain point we were just playing the games and then we realized we had so many presents to open so <laughs> we unlocked literally almost like half of the trophies that were available at the time because we just didn't bother with that we were like we're trying play trying playing all of the games you know yeah so that was so that was good fun it gives, and then it gives... in the in the middle of it um, of the of the of the center you had this weird game where you could drop coins and then if you cleared the map you would be getting presents or something yeah you get your little trophy yeah those are what i was talking about the, the trophies that like you know were around the place like around your nintendo land just like Is it tree a pachinko or something different. like that yeah um it was fun actually like i didn't mind losing coins i was like this is this is actually fun it's actually entertaining me i don't know how but it is entertaining me and it it worked out really well um i liked how people could like come and visit your nintendo land too and see how it's progressing and everything yeah um and there was it, it was also another motivation to play the games like you're already having fun with friends and stuff okay well here's another motivation yeah the um, game is good with uh, with both more friends and and alone mm -hmm. speaking of uh, alone we got a yoshi's fruit card yoshi's fruit I didn't the drawing game oh i didn't try that one um, so there was this game where you were playing as Yoshi and you had to draw on uh, the thing is like um, you would have to draw circles around the fruits and Yoshi would be running uh, on the line you will be drawing on your gamepad now here was the clue on your TV you could see the fruits but on your gamepad you had to draw you couldn't see the fruits oh so yes yeah, so you can't run into them yeah, you cannot run into okay. that, and that it's actually that like kind of also fun. a lot of fun. That um, kind of fun. Kind, it kind of reminded me of golf in a way, but it, it like different, of course. But yeah, it was a lot. That one's actually a lot of fun that, too. That was the only actually no, I did try that, and I was very bad at it. I was like, I'm done, <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah. I tried it once. That's why I don't remember it. But uh, the I only see. one I didn't play, there were two I didn't play, which was the octopus dance and the balloon trip breeze and i was just like these two don't seem entertaining at all octopus dance is actually pretty funny um it is funny i've seen my brother play it but uh i was just i, I like, actually I, I don't um, like it i actually played it with the <laughs> okay here's where it was funny um we went over to my friend's place and his grandparents were there and we had uh, we had this game up and the octopus dance we were like you were gonna be playing that so we made them play the octopus dance and that's where it actually turned fun 
But other than that, yeah, I do kind of agree with the fact that Octopus Dance is not really all that appealing. Yeah. And as far as the balloon game goes... It's, it's, it's more fun to just, like, look at it and then, like, play with a few friends and, and just, like, be like, This game is ridiculous. It's hilarious, but it's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then what about the balloon game? Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't seem... I saw my brother play that. Like, my brothers played them all. Um, those were the only two I haven't played, but, um, yeah, it didn't It didn't look like fun. It was just, I like, didn't like the fact that you had to use the stylus in order to draw the, the gusts of wind in order to direct your me. That's something that just never appealed to me. I, I'd understand if it was, like, you had to... How, how is it? Like, you have to just... Do you start falling if you don't do the gust of wind? Um, it's, 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 yeah, you start falling, Yeah. Um, then so you have to keep him up, but you also I have to move to the side. I think a better way they could have done it is if they made the gust of wind make you go up and down, so you'd have to draw whether it's up or down a certain oh, way. Oh, no, nah, that's, that, that's actually no, that because you would be losing some so, some sort of freedom, so I think the, the, thi the way they did it that's feels true. nice, but, but it's um, too hard. It, you, you <laughs> need to like the, that kind of game. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so that's pretty how much about uh, where is it? What Luigi's the? Mansion. Yeah, I was gonna say Luigi's Mansion. Um, I never picked the stage with the rotating thing and be a ghost <laughs> because you can just sit there and easily catch someone. Yeah. I was like, this stage is broken for the ghost. It's a fun game. But, yeah, you really need more than, uh, again, I usually it's one I of usually those... Just, uh, I usually just played the first stage, really. Mm. Again, we it's did one unlock of the... the other ones, but... It's one yeah. of those that uh, I think it needs more people, because you just have those little... You have the little robot guy, just shining light, and it, it doesn't do anything. So you're the only yeah, we... one, so if, you know, once he knocks you out, you're done. Oh, yeah, yeah. So with more regard. people, I think it's a lot better. Especially yeah, the thing is, I, I only, other. personally, I only played with, like, four people all the time, you know, or, yeah, was it, or five. Uh, yeah, even. um, and then, what about the Pikmin one? Yeah, that Pikmin one was great. That one was really awesome, Pikmin. What was it like? Because, um, to be honest, you never played I, it? I, I don't think I did, I thought I played, I thought I only didn't play the, uh, the dance in the balloon one, but... Maybe I didn't play the Pikmin, or maybe I just don't remember it. What was it like? Uh, Pikmin is really awesome. Uh, I love the Pikmin one. I actually like Pikmin Adventure better than Pikmin 1, 2, or 3. Uh, I'm <laughs> not even it, kidding. What was, what was it like? Uh, your Pikmin have a level up system. And um, based on level they, they have, the more powerful they get. Uh, but you just have to clear out an obstacle course or something like that. Uh, it's basically like... Um, you're moving with a, you have a, 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 a like your team members and you, you got like different types of uh, things that are blocking your way and uh, you got one player with the gamepad who is Captain Olimar and he can just go ahead and, and toss the, uh, the, the Pikmin's away and the, the, uh, the people who are having the Wiimotes are actually using the Pikmin themselves and um, you have the ability to get stronger by uh, leveling up I think and, and getting power-ups and um, like you would be knowing what the what the little flower of the Pikmin would be looking like if it was strong or not. So he would be uh, getting more damage, and, and like Pikmin would be getting like different types of power ups to do more damage. And it was really a lot of fun. But that wasn't the only thing. You also had the the versus mode, which was really cool too, oh, because the it, it was mode? yeah, that was the versus mode, and um, that that. In the versus mode, the, you're competing to get most points and then things will be hitting you and so on. You should definitely try it because Pikmin Adventure is really a lot of fun. Yeah, I think that was... Yeah, I must have not tried that because I don't remember it. But it sounds like a lot of fun. It um, is. Like, it, it's... It, honestly, like a lot. If, they made a, if they made a full game out of Pikmin Adventure, I would definitely buy that. Mm. Is that good, actually? <laughs> um, Yeah, I felt the Zelda game was very it felt like the Zelda game like they actually made it feel like you know you know I didn't feel it the same way it didn't feel exactly the same it, but it felt it's like real, you were exploring a little bit and stuff it, it felt like this crossbow trading really a, a little bit but the one thing I didn't like about it was how they made you go like a certain way 
Like, yeah, that's, you couldn't that's really the... move, so yeah. it gave you less freedom. And a lot of games are about exploring, so... I liked how many enemies they threw at you and stuff, and the types of enemies you fought, and... You know, the types of thing you were able to do, and they made it not overly hard, but not, you know, easy. And, and they made it... They made it kind of like a Zelda game. Where you're kind of like walking through like this dark cave and stuff, um, mm -hmm. and the forest, and and the mountain, and desert, and blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, I didn't. The one thing I really felt that made a big difference was, you know, the fact that you couldn't walk around yourself. Kind of made you go in a straight line. That's not the only thing I feel. Really? Because yeah, because the one thing that I didn't like playing with four people was that um, we're always out there if you're a Link to get the most skills and the most rupees, right? Mm -hmm. And the problem was uh, you got the player with the with the bow and that is a role in itself and then you got three other players at least in, in our situation we were playing with three other players as well having the Wii mode and, and having the swords and everything. Um, the links would be walking in a certain path depending on where you're in the middle of the right or at the left oh yeah and that's right that was so annoying because one player would always get more kills than the other and that was unfair and that's another that's why thing actually you know what another thing was the bow person could actually hit his teammates and it's like the hell oh, that's 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 something that i liked <laughs> it, it was funny but i was kind of like what the hell <laughs> Yeah, true. Because, you know, one of them would shoot and then you'd freeze and you could lose the entire game because of it. And it happened a few times that we lost the entire game because of it, because I played with a few people um, at one point. And it happened a couple, a few times that we lost because of that. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of have to be careful. Animal, good, yeah. Animal Crossing was fun though, how you could like... The, uh, you have the elephant running around, running from, you know, the two guards, and you had to get 15 uh, fruits, fruit balls, and and then put them in the little holes around the, around the map, and you win, and if you get hit three times, you lose. And yeah. I liked how you could drop them, speed them up, kind of try to avoid them, um, outplay them a little bit with that, but, you know, it's easy to get cornered, so you really have to be on your feet when you're the elephant, but... I liked it. It was it was a, it was a fun game. As much as it was kind of one-sided, it was still really fun. Um, yeah, but that is. I think you played like the single-player mode or like with two players, right? Yeah. Because with four players, it gets totally different. Um, oh, okay. Okay. With yeah. four players, um, you are the person with the with the with the uh, or was it even five players? I'm not. I think it was four players. Anyway, uh, with four players, um, one player is holding the, the gamepad, and he is using the left stick and the right stick to um, to uh, uh, to to how, how do you how do you call it to uh, guide both guards. So one guard would be the left stick, and other guard would be the right stick. And it was your task to attack the, the other players. Mm -hmm. And the other players were having different types of hats. So one looked like a mouse, the other looked like an elephant. And um, the thing was, um, the, the players who uh, were having the Wii modes uh, would be go going up to trees and gathering the fruits and everything. And they would be sucking them up. And um, the more fruits they got, the slower they got. Oh. That's where it got fun. Oh yeah, um, that's right. Yeah. And then... so. You had a certain amount of lives, or...? Yeah, you had a certain amount of lives. I think it was like three lives or something like that. Mm -hmm. So if, if one player was down, the guard would have been winning. Uh, but if the uh, if the players would be getting a certain amount of, of fruits, then they would be winning. I think it was... Or was it candy? I'm not sure if it was candy or fruits. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's candy. It's, it's it's sweet candy. What, why did I say fruit? I'm sorry. Oh, Dio. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called sweet Dio in here, but... Well, yeah. It's oh, yeah, sweet of day, but... Yeah, it's candy. It's yeah, collected. okay. But uh, that was so much fun. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, really great. Um, I think those were all of the games, really, that... Uh, they, they were all the games, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else we could say about any of them. I guess the only one I can say is Luigi's Mansion. It was a lot of fun. It did feel like you were playing Luigi's Mansion, trying to hunt ghosts. Um, 
and this time the ghost could get you even worse and you kind of have to work as a team to get the ghost. Now, the really one thing that I like as at Nintendo Land as a whole is that Nintendo really gave you the feeling that all of the games were incorporated in a single cartridge yeah. or a single disc and they really felt like those games. Like yeah. Metroid really felt like Metroid. Yoshi really felt like Yoshi. I'm not really sure about Donkey Kong. It, I suppose it kind of did, but it's kind of silly in a it, way as well. It's different. No, Donkey yeah. Kong's more of the... like It, it would feel more of like the first Mario. <laughs> Yeah, but coming back to my favorite game, it's actually got to be Pikmin. Well, it's was actually got to be Pikmin. Time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah, my my favorite has to go to Donkey Kong, but I haven't played the Pikmin one yet, so that could change. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, that'll be about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you, Reversal, for joining me. Yeah, no problem. And was a um, blast. Yeah. Um. And yeah, that'll be about it. All the links to my stuff will be in the description below. You can go and check those out. So with the links to his stuff, remember to like, comment, and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.